acrobatics and balance. Hi, this is Morgan and Kate, and today we're going to be doing our very, very, very last little passports expedition box. And this one is... Acrobatics and balance. Acrobatics? Are we going to do cartwheels? Yeah, I can do cartwheels. <laughs> Step two. Shape the paper funnel, thread the string through both holes, holes of the paper funnel, not both ends of the string to make a loop. Cut off any excess, excess str string beyond the knot. Cut the string to the, clip the string to the lanyard. paper into a long tube. Tape it across the middle and on each end. Place the tube on a small surface like a table. So 12 inches of the tube stick out straight from the edge. Use the tape to secure a remaining part of the tube on, onto the surface. funnel on the tube about six inches away from the table. This is your peplum. Place the black paper in the tray directly below your pendulum. Decide which way to swing your pendulum and adjust the white line so the pendulum will, cross, will swing across the length of the black paper. The funnel's tip should be four to three inches directly above the, wa the white line. Adjust the length of the lanyard if needed and tape the lanyard rope to the tube in order, in order to secure the position. Start with the pendulum pulled to one edge of the short side of the, of the black paper. Predict and record how many full swings the pendulum will complete before it stops moving. Sorry. And returns to its center resting point above the white line. I think it's gonna go over the white line about three times. I'd say it's going to go over the white line 16 times before it stops. How many times? It's like 10. I was thinking maybe 12. Yep. Use your finger to block the hole in the funnel. Pour one and a half tablespoons of purple sand into the funnel. So can you... Step 
Mm-mm. If your fingers still blocking the hole in the funnel, pull the pendulum straight back and start straight back to the starting point at the edge of the black paper. Please release the funnel. Do not push. Contin- count the number of full swings. Even if the sand runs out, record the number Record the number under trial one. Leave the sand on the paper. Okay. So pull it over here. Pull it all the way back. There you go. To the edge of the black paper. And then just let it go. It's just dropping sand in the middle now. Yeah, it went 14 times. Good. Step 10. Trial 2. This trial will start a, a few inches from the edge of the paper, closer to the center. Pour a half tablespoon of green sand and starting from the new point, you repeat. Step nine, predict and record the number of full swings under trial two. What are your predictions? You're not gonna pull it back as far this time, so what are your predictions? Um, I think six. I think it's gonna be about 13. I'm sure to pinch it tight now. I That about half. Mm hmm. That's good. And where do I put this? Okay, now you're not going to pull it back all the way. It's just halfway. Nope, not all the way. Like that. Okay. Yep. It didn't even cross the line. Trial no. three. Bend the black paper and pour all of the sand from trials one and two into the funnel. Test the pendulum starting from the same location and height as trial one, which is the edge of the black paper. Now that there is more sand, more mass, how many full swings Will the pendulum complete before it returns to the center resting point? Record your prediction and results. I think so. I, want eight, I think it's gonna go ten. I think it's gonna go about twenty. Mazel. Mazel. That's done. 20. 20. 21, I think. No, that's 20. It was 19. 20. I guess perfect. Maze, move. Use the remaining. Step 12. Use the remaining sand to test the pendulum from different loca- locations and angles. Try twisting the funnel before you release it. Pull the funnel out out a corner or different edge of the black paper and release. What do you notice about the sand? Doing the balancing act. Woohoo! Act one, step one. This is your own balancing act. Balance balance is the key to almost all things acrobatic. Experiment with different 
situations to create the best balance for your acrobat. Punch out a punch out and decorate the acrobat. Try to balance the acrobat upside down so the head rests on the end of your finger. How easy does that acrobat balance? Does it quickly fall over? Um, so let's just do this. <laughs> Step three. Add a clip to the bottom of each hand and try again. Is the acrobat easier to balance? Try, step four. Try balancing the acro acrobat on something small like the tip of a pen or pencil. Is the acrobat easy to balance? <laughs> Clearly. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's my idea. Go <laughs> <laughs> up. Side breeze. <laughs> it goes it's gonna go zip lining. I wanna try. Step five. Fold the flaps of your science science kit box. Cut a piece of string that can that can extend beyond the length of the box. Approximately 16 inches. Tightly stretch this string across across the box opening the box opening and tape the the ends to the side of the box. If you want to, you can cut two slits in the opposite edges of the box and slide in each end of the string to help secure it. This is your tightrope. thought balancing one acrobat was tricky, try connecting them together in a model. With some practice, you can put together a whole troop of balancing acrobats by, by adjusting the dowel and the balance point in multiple locations. Step one. Draw two acrobats of your own design on on the foam sheet and cut them out. If your acrobat doesn't have have the string to pass through using the pointed end of your dowel, cut four pieces of string so that each piece me measures about ten inches long. Thread a piece piece of string through each acrobat. and tie a knot on each end. Set aside all four acrobats and tie to acrobats to tie and hang later.
that measures about 12 to 15 inches long and tied the ends together to make a big loop. Loop de loop. Make sure the paper tube from the pendulum experiment is still hanging from a tall surface. Hang the loop of string on the tube. Place it or place one dowel through the loop and try to balance it on the string. It's practically impossible. Choose an acrobat, knot the other end of the acrobat string to the dowel, find the balance point and move the dowel through the looped string. My little balancing guys. Do we do the Thanks for watching. Bye. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Leave a like on this video. Bye. Bye. And, and thanks to Annie and the, our Annie and Angie for giving us for getting us the little passport science boxes. Because this is our very last one. Make Thank sure you like and subscribe to the, our videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.